it's easy as going to OpenSea.io. Log in with your MetaMask. We're in. So once you've signed in with your account, there should be at this top bar here a uh, button that says Create. So we're clicking on that. This will take us back to MetaMask Wallet where we'll have to sign the transaction just to prove that we are in fact interacting with this wallet. It is us. Now, as you can see, you can create your new item. So whether you want that to be JPEG, PNG, AVI, whatever you want, you can put it in there as long as it meets the requirements, which is at the minute, uh, max size 100 megabytes. Put your name, description, all that stuff. Great, great, great. Now, here's the part about making multiple copies and for free. So at the minute, we have the blockchain set as the Ethereum blockchain. Now, ideally, we don't want to do that if we want to make multiple copies. As you can see, I'm clicking on it. It's doing sweet FA. So we want to put it as Polygon and then we can make essentially as many as we desire for whatever purpose we want. Freeze metadata must create it first. I will actually upload something so that you can see just a picture of this girl. Random girl, you know, as it might be. Mona the Vampire. There we go. Cool. Excellent. And create. We'll see what happens. There we go. Now I have created 1,000 copies of Mona the Vampire. Very nice. Excellent. Okay, so to add royalties first, we need to set up a collection. So we're going to do that. We're going to the top again, clicking down under the profile picture and going to my collections. We're going to create a collection for your new piece. Load an image. I'm just going to load the same picture of that girl. Feature the image of that girl. And the planet image, it, these are unnecessary anyway. Cool. Let's click that girl. Now here's where you set your royalties. The thing is, you want to remember, you want it low enough so it's not going to inconvenience anyone or put anyone off buying your NFT. I wouldn't set this at like 50% or something stupid like that because that would be very, very painful for someone to try and sell. Let's put like maybe like 7.5%. Wallet address where the payout goes and what you want your payout to be in. Click create. Now I can see I have a collection with a certain amount of royalties in. Uh, it says no items to display, so what I need to do. Here for my thousand copies, change collection. That girl, move. Successfully move. So if we go to my collections again, we can now see that we have that collection, that girl. We have no items in there because OpenSea takes a while. Now, when we go to that collection, we can see that there is one item there. One of the vampires. So we go on that. We know it's in the collection, so the royalties are set 7.5%. So we click sell. So on this page, we list how many we want to sell. So we'll sell all 1,000. How much we want to sell them for? I'm just going to put 0 0.0001. Bargain. Bargain. Absolute bargain. Duration is six months. Why not? Um, yeah. So for specific buyer, no. Okay. Listing price must be greater than two dollars. Okay, I'll take a factor of zero. Complete listing. At this point, you just sign the message in your wallet again. Now we've successfully listed an NFT with royalties on that has. 1,000 copies. So now you know how to make multiples, set your royalties, you should be pretty much good to go. This is the first in a series of how to NFT videos where I'll be sharing my experience in how I designed the cards, built the social media, and made the actual NFTs. So if you're thinking about making an NFT project or just interested in the space, it might be worth checking out the other videos I've got on the topic as well. Anyway, take it easy.